So, it's quarter past 10 in the morning, Sunday, 6th of August, en route to Wembley. Last time I went to Wembley, we beat Chelsea, and the scoreline was only 2-1. It should have been about 13-1. We absolutely battered them that day. Um, hoping for a bit more of the same, really. I'm gonna go down and meet up with some really good mates of mine, um, a few Chelsea friends as well. Um, gonna be a good day, I can, I can feel it. We love a bit of Wembley. I love a bit of Wembley. We're gonna do it. I'm predicting 3-1. Let's see how we go. Come on, Arsenal. My throat's gone, I can hardly speak. Screaming and shouting at Bellerin and his fucking dodgy crosses. <laughs> but yeah, wow, nine straight wins at Wembley. We love this place and um, it's definitely a second home for Arsenal. Um, obviously, as you can see, I'm back in my car. I've just got back to the tube station and um, I am absolutely drained. I, I tip my hat to all these people that do this week in, week out because it's a fucking killer, man. So. Yeah, I'm just going to run, quickly run through the game um, and just give you my thoughts, really. Um, before we go, obviously you can see that I've got a new intro um, and I have got a new outro as well, which you'll see in a second as well. So I just want to give a shout out to Tim Vanderpump um, on Twitter. Tim Vanderpump Edit, I think his Twitter handle is, um, and Milk Media, who designed that for me. So I just want to give a shout out to them. Um, really appreciate that and um, yeah it's all about moving on and growing and, and, and getting better so hopefully um, hopefully I can do that and um, yeah coming back to the game I thought the lineup when I see the starting lineup I was like oh here we go what is going on why is Bellerin playing why is Oxlade Chamberlain left wing back and <coughs> excuse me and um, again I'm so, I'm left so disappointed with Bellerin it drives me crazy all he's, all he's got is, is pace. He can't cross. We've seen that again today. His crosses are atrocious. Um, I've said this umpteen times. I played Bellerin right wing back. And the main man, uh, the man of the moment, Said Kalasanac, why didn't he start? I was looking at it thinking, why, why is he start not starting? And Oxley Chamberlain's at left wing back, Bellerin. It just looked a bit of a mess. But going into the game, um, I was I was quite happy with how we started. I thought Xhaka was fantastic throughout. Um, and I've been beating the El Nenny drum. Everyone knows that. I've said it's the best partnership. And again today, it looked fantastic. El Nenny compliments Xhaka so much. Um, he sits back. He, he don't bomb forward like Ramsey does. And they've got a good relationship considering they've not played that many games together. So I thought that worked really well. Um, first 25 minutes, I thought we were fantastic. Should have been winning. Um, Lacazette hitting the post. Um, after that, we sort of took our foot off the gas a little bit and Chelsea come back into it massively. And I just thought the first half was a little bit of a dead dead rubber, really. It, it, it was what it is. It was just a friendly game. It looked like nobody really cared. Um, but then, you know, first minute, second minute into the second half, they go 1-0 up and... You're like, ah, oh, come on, you know, we can't be losing to this lot. All right, it's a friendly, your, your competitive side kicks in and and your, your aggression and, you know, you, you just, that's why I got no voice, you know. The amount of times I was shouting and screaming at the referee. And I'll be honest with you, when Pedro got sent off, yeah, shout out to my boy Oliver if you're watching this as well. I was sat next to him today. He called it, he goes, that's a straight red. I was like, nah, you're in cuckoo land, bro. That ain't a straight red. And it was a straight red. I and mean, I've watched it back um, just before I started recording this. And it's definitely a straight red. But I thought I thought at that point that we weren't in it. We were struggling so much. I thought Chelsea were going to get the second goal. And um, 
to be honest, I think the the fact that Pedro milked it for as long as he could to walk off the pitch, I think that sort of helped us because I think Chelsea weren't ready. I think they were just they just relaxed, they just switched off, they were all walking around, they were like chatting amongst this, themselves and they weren't organising it, organising the, the, the defensive line and and obviously I, I was sat right behind that goal and as soon as Xhaka put that ball in, you knew it was a goal. Yeah, if he if he got his head on it, it was a goal. And wow, what a finish. And and like I said, Xhaka. I got I got Xhaka's name on the back of this for a reason. The boy is an absolute baller. Yeah, and I knew that from when he came here. He is a baller. I see a lot of people slagging him off. Yeah, then people are starting to come round now, and this season's a massive season for him. So yeah, all in all, um 90 minutes I think I think was fairly even. I think a a one one was fair. But let's move on to the penalties, right? That is ridiculous. Taking one penalty and then the other team take two. Why do, why do they fuck with the game all the time? I don't, I don't get why they fuck with the game. But if anything, it helped us. Because soon as Courtois ballooned his over the bar, <laughs> why is he taking penalties, man? Come on, he's a goalkeeper. But as soon as he ballooned his, it was just a case of, right, just stick these two away and it's game over. And yeah, I'm, I'm very happy. I've, I've got to drive back to Milton Keynes now. Um, but yeah, I'm extremely happy. It's always nice to see your team win, especially at Wembley. So I'm not going to get carried away. I'm not going to say we're going to win anything because I don't think we will. I still think we're three players short. Definitely two players short. Need a centre back and a centre mid. Um, but it's it's a good start. It's a good start. And it takes us on to Friday night full of confidence now as well. But one thing's for sure. Kalasanach has got to start. Yeah, And Bellerin has got to be dropped because he ain't good enough at the minute and he could be he could be our undoing over the course of this Premier League season if we persist with him at right back so or right wing back so you know what to do thanks for watching i'm going to go and try and sort my throat out and uh, drive back to uh, to my house and uh, subscribe smash the like button to pieces and if um, if you want to comment and let me know your thoughts as well, then great. I'll reply to as many as I can, if not all of them, by the time I get home. So thanks very much. Up the Arsenal, eh? Come on, Arsenal.